Okay, we are beginning our lessons on water. So our very first lesson begins on page one inside of your water booklet, okay? And we're going to talk today about what do you know about water? And we need to make sure that we answer all of the different questions that we have in front of us, okay? First of all, water is an earth material. We learned in our rocks and minerals unit that was another earth material unit, right? That rocks and minerals were also earth materials. Water too is an earth material. It comes from the earth. What do you know about water? What does water do? How is water used? Where is water found? Write your ideas on the lines below. So we wanna make sure that we are addressing all of the questions there, okay? Because we wanna take a look at what we already know Okay, and then talk a little bit about what we're going to find out. All right, so I'm going to put number one down here. Okay, what do you know? So what I know. Okay, you can make a list. It does not have to be in complete sentences. Okay, just a list of what you already know about water. Okay, I'll give you a couple minutes to think about it. Jot your thoughts down. You can go ahead and pause the video. Okay, so some of the things that you may already know. Uh, let's see here. Um, it's hot and cold. Okay, hot and cold. Okay, what are some other things that we know about water? Well, we need it to live. <laughs> we need it to live. Okay. How do we need it to live? Will we drink it? Even if you don't really drink water in its pure form, it's still mixed with something that's a liquid that provides nourishment to your body. Okay. So we drink it. We cook with it. Okay, we wash with it. Okay, uh, what else do we already know about water? Well, it comes in different forms, right? Uh, for example, you could have ice. It could come in a solid form like ice. Okay, ice, solid. Okay, whereas water itself could also be liquid. Okay. Oh, and you guessed it. It can also come in the form of a gas. Okay, of a gas in the air. Okay, gas in the air. So I am sure you can add so many other things onto this list for what you know. But we're going to move on to the second question. So feel free to add whatever else you would like. Okay, what does water do? What water does, what does it do? Well, it provides, um, it provides a source of nourishment for plants, trees, right? So it nourishes plants, trees, and really all living things, human beings, animals. Okay. Okay, what else does water do? Um, you could say that it uh, changes form, right? To ice, to water, it freezes, okay, changes form. when it freezes. It becomes ice. You see ice outside. You also see snowflakes, okay, um, which turns into water. All right, so it changes form when it freezes. What else does it do? Um, it, uh, get, it can get very hot. Can get hot. Uh, what else? Um, it call, it uh, produces steam. 
okay? These are just different things that water does. Again, you may have a lot more listed than that, and I hope you do, because that's fantastic, okay? So question number three, how is it used? How is it used, okay? How is water used? So we need to think about that as well. Gotta plug in my laptop here. It's starting to uh, die on me. So let's get that plugged in. All right, so what, how is it used? Okay, it's used to, kind of talked about what you, in what you know, for cooking, for washing, okay? Cooking, washing, nourishment for our bodies, okay? You can certainly list more things in terms of how it's used, okay? Cooking, washing, nourishment. Um, when I say washing, you could also say swimming, okay? Swimming pools, which is going to lead us actually into the next one in terms of where is it found, okay? Where is it found? Well, you could say pools. Where else is water found? Lakes, oceans. What else? Lakes, oceans, rivers, ponds. Anywhere else you can think of? Swamps. Lakes, oceans, rivers, uh, ponds, swamps, anything else that um, where water is found. Love to go to the ocean, at the beach, right? Um, you can go to the lake, you can go to a river, a pond, you can go to a pool, swamps, it's found. I mean, you could get as nitty gritty as it's found in a bathtub, it's found in a sink, okay? Um, water fountains. Water fountains, sinks, bathtubs, okay? I'm kind of running out of space there. Uh, but again, these are just ideas on what we already know about water, okay? So let me move mine up a little bit so you can see the whole thing there at once, okay? And again, you may have your own ideas. That is okay. You do not have to have everything the same that I have, okay? These are just some thoughts. All right, um, so we are going to be moving on to our first lesson, which is titled Water on Surfaces. So stay tuned for a fun experiment.